Welcome to our demonstration on how to prepare VMware vCloud networking and security logical networks using VXLAN technology. Let's start by viewing the lab configuration first. We have two clusters, cluster 1 and cluster 2, with two hosts each. There are some applications deployed in each cluster. Now let's take a look at the network configuration. There are two distributed switches defined. Each distributed switch is associated with a cluster. Different port groups are configured on each distributed switch to provide isolation to the different traffic types. Also, vShield Manager and its plugin, Network Virtualization, is deployed in the vCenter server. Through the vShield Manager plugin, VXLAN preparation and logical network creation will be demonstrated. We will start with the VXLAN fabric preparation first. We click on the Network Virtualization tab, click Preparation, and then click Edit. We will see two clusters that are part of the data center. Depending on how many clusters the VXLAN fabric should span, we can choose either one or both clusters. In this case, we will create the VXLAN fabric across both the clusters. Next, we choose the distributed switch on which the VXLAN transport VM kernel module and VM kernel NIC will be deployed. Since in this deployment, each cluster has only one distributed switch, we will choose the distributed switch configured for that cluster. But if you have multiple distributed switches configured for a cluster, then you will have the option to choose a distributed switch on which the VM kernel module and VM kernel NIC can be deployed. After choosing where the VM kernel module and VM kernel NIC is deployed, the next step is to configure the VLAN that will be used to carry the VXLAN transport traffic. This is an important step where, depending on the individual cluster's virtual machine network configuration, we can choose to configure this VLAN parameter. For example, if the Cluster 1 virtual machine network is on VLAN 10, while the Cluster 2 virtual machine network is on VLAN 20, then we can configure the corresponding VLAN parameter for each cluster. On clicking Next, we have the option to choose between the teaming policies across the uplinks, where the VXLAN transport traffic will be carried. We have four options here. Failover, Static Ether Channel, LACP Active, or LACP Passive Mode. The Physical Switch Link Aggregation Configuration dictates what option you can choose here. Since we don't have Ether Channel configuration on the Physical Switch, we choose Failover Mode. The configuration for the MTU is 1600 bytes. It is important to consistently configure the same MTU across the Physical Switch environment. After clicking Finish, vShield Manager will deploy VM Kernel Module and VM Kernel NIC on each host of the cluster. These deployed modules together act as a Virtual Tunnel Endpoint, or VTEP, which performs the packet encapsulation and decapsulation. After some time, we will see that the VXLAN fabric is created, and a new port group is defined for carrying the VXLAN transport traffic. We also notice that the VM kernel NIC is configured on each host with unique IP address associated with appropriate VLAN subnet. Once the VTEP configuration is performed across every host of the clusters, the next step is to configure the segment ID field and multicast address range. The segment IDs are VXLAN segment IDs, or also called as virtual wires or virtual network identifiers. Configuring segment ID field allows us to specify the number of logical networks you can create in the setup. You can define 16 million unique logical networks, but we will create only 900 by configuring 5,000 to 5,900 segment IDs. For each segment ID, we can specify a separate multicast group by configuring multicast address range. However, if we have limited multicast groups in the environment, multiple segment IDs can share the same multicast group. Along with the multicast configuration on the vSphere side, perform the following configuration on the physical switches or routers. If you have a Layer 3 routed network, as in this deployment, then enable multicast routing on the physical routers and configure IGMP snooping on the physical switches. If there is just one VLAN, then enable IGMP querier along with IGMP snooping on the physical switches. The final step of the VXLAN preparation is to define the network scope. We choose both the clusters to be part of that network scope. Once the network scope is created, we are ready to consume logical networks independent of physical network topology restrictions. The following steps describe how we can create logical networks. Click on the networks and then click Add to create a logical network or virtual wire. For example, we will create Web Virtual Wire and DB Virtual Wire.
For each virtual wire created, we can see the associated segment ID and multicast group IP address. In this setup, we will see that for the DB virtual wire, the segment ID 5000 is allocated from the segment ID pool, and the multicast IP address used for that particular logical network is 225.1.1.1. Also, note that there is a unique port group created on the distributed switch for each logical network that gets created. This concludes our demonstration on how to prepare a VMware vCloud networking and security logical network using VXLAN technology.